Why is the night sky black? Assuming the universe is infinite and filled with an infinite number of stars, the night sky should be bright and not dark. This phenomenon, also known as Olber's paradox, kept astronomers confused for a long time. While the universe might be infinite in size, it's not infinitely old. The Big Bang Theory says our universe... No. We're, we're just going to stop the video there. You didn't tell the actual reason? And that's disturbing. Old. What the fuck? You get... Listen. Okay. Back in the beginning of the Big Bang and everything else, where everything was white hot, you would think that everyone, everywhere, everything that could ever be, okay, is lit up like fuck. So why isn't the night sky lit up like fuck? It's very simple. That light that was originally emitted was absorbed by other material. And therefore, the only other light that can be emitted is from actual stuff out in space. And as you can see, the galaxies are spread the fuck out. That's why. Not to mention the fact that there is no atmosphere. Literally... Is nothing to do with the expanding universe and all that are first formed 13.8 billion years ago. Since then, far distant stars have been emitting light. Their light has been traveling. It's been traveling places and it's been absorbed by all sorts of other stuff. So the literally, the only light that can reach us is by an object that is nearby. Or I, I mean an op how do I put it? An object that is in direct line of sight of us through space this entire time at the speed of light. Still, not enough time has passed for that light to reach us. On top of that, our universe is expanding. Emitted light travels through expanding space and therefore is stretched. This reduced... Okay, the idea of light being... needing to take time to get to us, yes, although that is true, um... it's being emitted all the time, every moment. So, the light that is super far away has had time to get to us. That's why we're able to see things from billions of years ago. Also, the wavelength situation is not, again, not the reason. You want to know the real reason? I'll explain it to you really simply. Imagine you have a bunch of fans in front of your flashlight. Each propeller blade is going to block some of that light from getting to you. Now imagine everything in the universe is spinning around in its own wacky, which it obviously is always spinning. That's why you see stuff orbiting in galaxies and everything. We're also spinning throughout the travel through the universe. So at any given point in time, the light emitted by any given thing is being bumping into whatever is in front of it at that time. And as time passes, the only light that could emit and still get to you is the light from stuff that hasn't been blocked by other moving stuff. So therefore, also, because there isn't an atmosphere out in space, Light isn't able to just bounce everywhere and fill the night sky. Because, like, yeah, we have our atmosphere in our planet. But, I mean, if you don't say atmosphere, if you don't say stuff spreading around, if you don't say that stuff has gotten in the way of the other light, and the only light that can actually get to us is the light that was able to pass straight through. And that's not all of the light. It would be interesting, though, if there were sources of light literally everywhere that we should be able to see all of it. But the red the red shift is nothing to do with it. Because that happens a very tiny amount over the course of quadrillions of years or something. That is not anything to do with it.
loses its energy and light that reaches Earth appears less bright. Most stars, like our Sun, emit light for a few billion years before their nuclear fuel has been consumed and they grow dark. That means even if there's an infinite number of stars, they don't emit light forever. So even with more time passing by, the night sky won't appear much brighter than it... Yeah, some stars are less bright. Okay, yes, that is maybe part of it. And you'd think, oh, well, there's all this dark matter. What if it's just planets and stuff that we honestly can't see unless they're in front of another star? So we could just have a bunch of dark stars and planetary systems that are too dark for us to notice. And therefore, we haven't seen them or noticed them compared to everything else. Maybe we have. I don't know. A lot of them, but not all of them. Already is. Why is the night sky... Listen, Kurskodok, you didn't say atmosphere. You get a you get a barely passing grade of a C minus. <laughs> 